<laughs> Is that gonna be on tape? I'm not supposed to be struggling. My name is Steve Popula. I'm a powerlifter. I bowled the 242 all-time record in sleeves. My total poundage was 2099.9. Not 2100, but 2099.9, precisely. My job outside the gym is an exercise physiologist at a hospital. Basically, I test patients who have some type of symptoms, such as shortness of breath, but we don't know where that's coming from. So my job is to use exercise testing to determine if their shortness of breath comes from some type of defect in their lungs or their heart. Uh, in some cases, some patients are just too out of shape and just overweight. I got my master's from Long Beach State, go Niners, before I ended up studying this job at Hubble UCLA, Torrance in 2011. Most people don't realize this, a lot of elite lifters or elite bodybuilders, we don't really make a whole lot of money. I mean, some of us do make money from sponsorship, but for the most part, a lot of us, we have to have a real job. So I have a real full-time job. And over the past year, I've been trying to advance my career in the hospital by trying to get into medical school. So I've been taking out my prerequisites after work. So my usual schedule would be go to work from like say seven to four, and then I'd have to go to school at night. And then after getting out of class, say maybe around nine or 10, I would usually go train, so that's pretty hard. I mean, going to medical school, anyone who knows about that path knows how hard it is. So I'm trying to do that, and then I'm trying to be one of the best pilots in the world. So there are some times where I just want to give up. I just tell myself, why am I even doing this? But eventually I knew if I just kept at it, you know, set my goals, I knew it was going to happen. But I also knew to be realistic, it's impossible to be able to power lift and try to do something as big as getting into medical school for a long time. Meaning I knew at some point I would have to sacrifice I do, you know, my dreams to get into medical school or my dreams to be one of the best pilots in the world. So I was very happy I was able to accomplish my piloting goals so I can take some time off just to focus on going to work and then getting into a medical school. Dominate humbly, well, it's always been my personality, no matter what I accomplish. I guess, you know, for me, no matter what you accomplish, at any point in time, it could all be taken away from you. Nothing is guaranteed, so I don't see why you have to be so arrogant about it. Some people say being arrogant means being overconfident, but my thing is, though, it's not so much about what you say or what you post on Instagram, it's about what you do. I used to get angry, I used to get mad because I wanted to be seen as a bad dude like everyone else, I want to be a badass. But at the end of the day, it's just about getting the job done. And I think if you're humble, if you stay quiet, chances are you probably have a better opportunity to focus on your goal. Because I don't talk a whole lot, you know, brag about what I've done or what I'm going to do, doesn't mean I'm not thinking about what I will do. So if you brag all day about what you're going to do and you don't do it, people are going to hate on you. But if you're well spoken, you are very humble about what you will do, even when you fail, people will still support you and encourage you because they see you as an humble guy. So for me, all those other times where I would fail, people would always encourage me, you know, keep going, don't stop it. So definitely stay humble and then you'll be able to dominate. <laughs>